Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Bent Knitter. Welcome back. So this week we are going to be doing a yarn, another yarn review. Uh, this time is going to be from Yarn, yarn Inspirations, Burnett uh, Blanket for Pets. Uh, now this yarn is 100% polyester, uh, which is a little bit different, and this is qualified as bulky, so a little bit on the heavier side. Um, it's kind of nice to have companies do something a little bit heavier. Now, of course, I did a blanket like I always want to do. So definitely, I got four skeins of it. I will put all the information in the description below in case anybody's wondering. Um, and I did get this at Michael's too. So it is uh, pretty common at, you know, big chain store. But as you can see, it came out really nicely. Um, so the some of the positives is that it's really easy to work with and really nice and really soft. Um, so it works well for like blankets, um, scarves and stuff like that. It's really soft on the skin. Now, one of the negatives for this, and one of the, it's actually kind of a significant negative for this, is that when I was knitting this up, it actually, a lot of the dye that they use for this actually rubbed off on my hands and my needles. Um, so, pretty significantly too. So, um, I do have a couple of pictures of my hands and it did take a couple of days for it actually to come off me um, of like washing and showering and all that kind of stuff um, so it did get under my nails and on my hands um, so that was kind of annoying luckily my hands weren't like all like deep blue or anything but it did rub off I've never really had a yarn uh, the dye from it rub off all my hands like that um, and also these are the needles I use for um, the project. So as you can see, usually, you know, my needles are bamboo, so they're kind of light and, you know, bamboo colored. Um, but it did come out quite significantly blue. Um, I've had one or like a couple times in the past where they, my needles have changed color, but I've never had the actual tubing of the needles um, change from just like the clear to the coloring so I'm not overly mad because usually I get kind of cheap needles online um, and I tend to like because I tend to break a lot so I don't know I'm kind of rough on needles but um, if you have a nice expensive needles this might be a significant thing that you might not want to get this yarn because um, they might ruin your needles um, after one project I mean, granted, I did do a blanket, so it's a big project, but one project usually shouldn't change the color of your needles this significantly. Um, so yeah, like that, it's, I would be a little bit hesitant to get this yarn again because I wouldn't want the, to dye my needles or my hands again. Um, before I, you know, give this away or sell this, I will be putting this through the wash once, if not twice, just to make sure all of the excess dye gets off. Um, because before it actually gets on something more significant, like a couch or something, or wherever, I wouldn't want the blanket to dye something more expensive and ruin something. So, it's a little bit of a caution for this type of yarn, okay? So, other than that, pretty colors, easy to work with, very soft, but it will dye your hands and your needles. So just be forewarned. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you have any other yarn you want me to review, let me know. And you can always hop over to thebentknitter.com to take a look at what I'm working on next. And if you have any comments or concerns, you can always email me there. Bye. Have a good day.